This is Twit. Uh, the new book, you've got to read it. It's fun. It's a page turner. Uh, it has many of the things that I think people loved The Martian for, uh, you know, the science that, you know, it's, you could see a mind, a, 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 a kind of a creative and intrigued mind taking apart. How would you make a city on the moon? How would it work? How, and, and, and it's all in there. And, you, uh, you know, I'm sure you've run this past scientists. It's, it sounds absolutely dead I, on. It's as accurate as I could possibly make it. And there's actually, there's really no, well, there is as a, as a plot device, but there's no made up science that's necessary for the city to exist at all. All that stuff, all the science mentioned in the book is real, except for the one thing that's, that's part so of the funny, plot, but that's you did that not, in the Martian too. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Martian, um, I did project forward a bunch of stuff like how ion engines work and the efficiencies and stuff like that. I, I assumed that they would get better at certain sciences, um, but but you, you it, said, I remember you saying that the, the windstorm in the Martian is stronger than it would have been mm -hmm. normally. And, but right. that's a plot. It was so critical to the plot. You had to do that. So there's right. something in here that's the same. Well, you, you know what it is. It's the invention. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah. That is uh, fictional science, but that has nothing to do with like how Artemis got built and stuff. So you know, the foundation of Artemis and, and how it gets built and why it's built and stuff like that. I still, I maintain that's 100% accurate to modern Actually, day science. And the invention is is pretty credible, too. Yeah, the invention is credible, but does not exist. Zaffo. <laughs> well, careful now. That's not Don't giving anything like, away. In okay, yeah, yeah, that's what it's called. But yeah, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I love it because I'm an idiot, but so was Jazz. <laughs> And we couldn't figure out what that meant for the longest time. And, and then it hit me right about this, just mi seconds before it hit her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh! Oh. Anyway, cool. you got to read it. Everybody, don't, don't, that's not, I hope that's not a spoiler. If it is, well, I apologize. But you know what? No, it won't spoil the book because you're going to love it. Artemis, <laughs> Andy Weir, we love talking to you. You're always so much fun and so engaging and so, so kind. We thank you for your time. And I can't wait to see you again for the next one. <laughs> 